Hi book friends, welcome to OMG Look at Her Books. My name is Gina and I post things all book related such as book reviews, book unboxings, and book hauls. So if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy, I'd love to have you subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday at noon. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment for me down below, and share it with your friends. Let's get right into the video for today. In today's video, I have two quick boxes to unbox with you guys. I got two of them in the mail and I completely forgot about them. So I got the book of the month box. I want to say this is the November box, but I can't remember because I've been skipping these a lot. So this is the first one that I've gotten in a few months. And then the other one is actually from Bay Crate, and this was, I can't remember if it was a pre-order or I signed up for, I want to see maybe the December box, so they had some left over, so I'll have to open up and see, but this is going to be a quick one, but I thought it'd be still fun to do with you guys. Here's my box cutter, I was looking for that. So let's do book of the month first. I am a book of the month BFF. I have been getting their books for years. I want to say even when they did their young adult book, they don't even do that anymore. I was a member then as well. I have been skipping a lot of books lately because I do work at a bookstore and I get a new hardbacks at an even cheaper rate than some of these boxes, but it's still a great deal. And I do recommend their books because they pick them every month. They have like their team members, you know, read them and select them for you guys. So it does give you a good selection of books that are great to get that month. And, oh, I remember this book, okay. I think I'm excited for this one. So this one is This Spells Love by Kate Robb. Yeah, so this one sounded like a really cute, like witchy read. And a lot of times they'll give you early access to books before they're even published. So that's really cool. You usually get about five books to choose from and then you can pick one of those. If you don't like any of the monthly picks, then you can even select one of their favorites or you have the option to skip the month. I want to say like your first month is like $9.99 or something. I might have a code for that. I'll leave it down in the description box if you want to check that out. This is not sponsored or anything like that. It also comes with a bookmark and they always have like really funny sayings. This one is, you know what you want to keep going. I'm sorry. You know what you want to keep going. It has like a little winky emoji on it. They're usually funny like witty comments on them. I'm almost positive this was a witchy book. Let's see. A young woman tries to heal her heartbreak by casting a spell to erase her ex from from her past but wakes up in an alternate reality in which she's lost more than she wished for. And this witty, whimsical, friends to lovers debut. So it's a friends to lovers, witchy rom ro rom oh my goodness I can't talk, rom-com or romance book. <laughs> so I am excited to read this one. I might even wait until I'm in the mood for a witchy read, but nonetheless, this one sounds really cute. <laughs> Moving on to the next box, which is from Fake Crate. I did subscribe to them, I don't know, I want to say a year ago now to a couple other months. I did like their bookish goodies, but I didn't always like their picks, even though they do a lot of like romance and spicy romance, which I do like, but I just didn't like some of the books. But I think this month I was really excited about it. I saw the book and I was like, oh, I have to have that. So let's see what it was because I don't even remember which book it was. Let's see. Oh, this isn't what I thought it was actually. Oh, that's so funny. So I did buy one of their monthly boxes. I want to say it's their December box, which they usually don't ship till the end of the month. So I guess I haven't gotten that one yet. But this is a totally different book. Comes with a little signed book plate. So this is With These Last Breaths by Vanessa Resonin. Resonin? Again, I'm terrible with names. I'm sorry, I should really probably butcher that. But this is the last book in the Black Sands trilogy, I want to say. I do have the first two books, so of course I had to have the last one for the matching set. Let's see. I can open this. Oh, they wrapped this really well. Love that. So it's nice and protected. These books are so pretty. They have like that... Um, foiling it has a name is it called gilded edges i think and it has like that gold pretty shiny foiling there we go got it off so it's like super shiny what does it say in the back we're all a little broken and believe it or not i knew you weren't perfect when i fell in love with you ah it's a pirate romance if i'm not mistaken i haven't read them yet because i was waiting 
for the third book. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Now I see why I had to have this series. So this is the reversible dust jacket. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I love when there's artwork on the back of the dust jacket. Even the naked book is gorgeous. All that foiling. And then instead of the book actually being signed, they gave you a little book plate. So I'll probably just has a sticker and stick that right in the book. So you can stick it right in that page or the author page. Oh, this is cool. So they actually put the letter from the author inside the book, which I love because a lot of times like fairy loot, love fairy loot, <laughs> no hate, no shade on them, but they do it separately. So then if you end up losing it, I keep mine like in the albums, the print albums that they've given you, but I love when they put them inside the books and you don't lose them. They're always inside the book. Oh, it's called Aisling and the Sea. That's the name of the series. But I know the first one is called like On These Black Sands, I want to say. Let's see if it lists them in here. Ooh, it's got a map in there too. I know I'm going to love this series for sure. I don't see the list of the books, but... I know there are two other books in the series. This is the third one. I'm super, super excited to read this one. Now that it's completed, I'm definitely going to have to read it. One of my goals for, um, my yearly goals for 2024, bookish goal of mine, is to read more of my book series, especially my book series that are completed, so I can get to some of those. So this is definitely going to be added to that list now that I have all three in this series. I am super, super excited for that, and I know I'm gonna love this one. So that's it for today's video. Just a quick unboxing with you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Do you have any bookish goals for this year? Do you have a number of books that you want to read or maybe another goal like mine? Do I plan to read more of my series, especially ones that I own? I'd love to know. Leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!